So in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your homepage slider. So that is the area of your website, which you can see right here, that typically has some photos in the background, followed by your photo on the right or left hand side, some heading text, which is the top text, subheading text, which is the you know smaller text under, and a call to action button. So this is a button that you, know, you can click on that will take you to a specific page of your website. So this, what we call, is the homepage slider. It uh, gets a lot of attention from your website visitors, and it's important that you know how to manage it. So what you do is you log into your website and go to Website Sliders. <clears throat> Once you're in there, you'll notice that you can add multiple sliders. So although this slider is on the homepage, you can create an unlimited amount of sliders that go anywhere on your website. So technically, I can add another type of slider here. I could add a slider in my buyer's guide page. I can add a slider in my contact page. Completely up to you. But in this video, I'm not showing you how to add sliders. I'm showing you how to edit them. So here's the homepage slider. We're going to press the pencil button for edit. Now once we're in there, you will notice that there are two tabs, slider settings and slides. So in the settings, I would not really play with this much, but there are things you can change like how fast the, the uh, slides change, the animation speed, what kind of transition animation do you want, what font style do you want for the text, um, you know, do you want to use dots or arrows or both, uh, would you like it, uh, you know, would you like to change your agent image? the animation for it, the, you know, the size or the height, that side sort of thing. So all of that is controlled in slider settings. Now in slides, you are able to actually edit individual slides. So you'll notice in this homepage slider and most homepage sliders, they have three slides. So if I minimize this, you'll notice we have slide one, slide two, and slide three. So what is slide one? Slide one has a picture of Toronto, with the text Adrian Singh as the heading text, sales representative as the subtext, and a button that says learn more that goes to the about me page. So if we want to edit any of this, we just have to expand slide one. So the first thing is you could pick a photo from the gallery. So right now, as you could see, it is the Toronto photo, but you could choose any other photo in this list, or you could actually upload your own. So you can actually upload any image of your choice. Next, you can edit the slide content. So we have a heading text, Adrian Singh. So you're able to edit what this says. You can add an animation, change the font size, and many other things. You have subtext, so you could change the little, the smaller font text, which you could see right here, where it says sales representative. And same thing, you could uh, choose the animation, the font size, spacing. Then you have button. So button, this is the learn more button, which you could choose again, the animation, the size, and you can also choose where it links to. So right now, like I said, this button links to the About Me page. And it opens in the same window. You could change this to open to a new window. You could change exactly what page you want it to go to. You can even, if you click right here, make it link to an, another website entirely. Additionally, you can add an additional image. So you can add an image that appears here uh, that only appears on this particular slide. So this wouldn't be like an agent image, but maybe it could be like a badge or award or something related to the slide. And of course you have overall settings, which is the content location. So as you can see, it's centered in the middle, but you could put it on the left side, right side, top, bottom, and middle. So this is pretty much how you edit slides. And of course you have these same options for slides two and slides three. And of course you can add more slides by just clicking the plus slide button. And when you do that, of course, <clears throat> You could uh, basically edit the slide background options and the slide content options. You can also link entire slides. So if you have a particular slide, you can actually link the entire image. So no matter where they click on, it doesn't matter if they click the button or not, you could choose to link it to a particular area of your website or another website entirely. So I hope this was clear. Just play around with it a bit. Uh, and like I said, you can add sliders to any page of your website. Uh, this video in particular shows you just how to edit the current slides that you have, including the homepage slider. Thank you and have a great day.